Gentleman from Pennsylvania is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, I appreciate it. Um, my colleague from Maryland said that we just can't help but to disagree. Nothing could be further from the truth. This bill could be passed on the suspension calendar. This is going to pass by well over two thirds vote. It passed, I believe, unanimously in the Senate. The fact that we're here debating a rule on this instead of just passing this on suspension is a waste of time. This bill will pass. But we've got a real crisis at the southern border. We've got inflation. Even the Biden administration said we're expected to have food shortages. We also are failing to project American power abroad, which is leading to chaos all over the world. So instead of focusing on these real problems, we agree on the issue with Ukraine, yet we're still here wasting valuable time that we could be using to address real problems. But let's just go back to the southern border. As I mentioned earlier in my remarks, just in March, encounters at the southern border hit a new Biden era high of over 200,000 individuals encountered at the southern border. In addition to apprehending individuals from the terrorist watch list, Border Patrol agents are seeing an increase in illicit drugs, including deadly fentanyl. Alarmingly, fentanyl border seizures increased by 134% in fiscal year 2021. President Biden and House Democrats have this open border policy that's creating a humanitarian and a security crisis, both at the border and in our communities where people are literally dying from fentanyl overdoses. And with all that in consideration, the Democrats, the left, they still want to do away with Title 42 and lift it. That's why, Mr. Speaker, if we defeat the previous question, I will personally offer an amendment to the rule to immediately consider H.R. 471, the Pause Act of 2021. Mr. Speaker, I ask unanimous consent to insert the text of my amendment in the record along with any extraneous material immediately prior to the vote on the previous question. Without objection. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Here to explain the amendment is a Republican conference chair, my good friend Elise Stefanik of New York, 